Now, you have a situation where if you're LeBron James, you know that MJ is an owner, that MJ can't be reaching out to players, yeah. that it's incumbent upon you to take that initial step because if you're an owner, you don't want to be accused of trying to coax dudes into coming to play for you. You know all of these things. So why do you mention this kind of stuff? Could it be? that you don't mind the comparisons? Could it be that we get back to what Skip Bayless mm -hmm. has said in terms of how, and even LeBron has said this, I'm coming for it. I want to be recognized okay. as the greatest. And he is putting everybody on notice that this is what he is coming for. And if you throw MJ's name out there, ultimately the comparisons will follow. And as a result, you're putting everybody on notice that you are coming for it all. Yeah. Me personally, I don't mind because I think LeBron James is great. I think he's the best player in the world today. I want to see him try to eclipse everybody that's ever played this game. Go ahead and make that attempt. I can't imagine giving it to you over MJ, but you could go ahead and make that attempt all you want to. But that is what I surmised from that whole situation that we so talked about yesterday. Are you hmm. summing up that it was a little unfair for LeBron to insinuate that Michael doesn't have the time of day for him. Absolutely. Okay. And the reason why I say absolutely is because I've often, I, I've talked to MJ many times over the years, okay? I have a relationship with him. I have a relationship with Kobe and most of these players in the league. You know that. And in the end, I, I have never once heard a single player say, a single marquee player, now if you're a scrub, Please don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that MJ <laughs> would say this, but if you're a scrub, a, I mean, yeah, what, uh -huh, what can MJ uh -huh, do for you? Uh -huh, you see what uh -huh, I'm saying? Uh -huh. But but I remember the stories <laughs> Melo have told me about him. I remember the stories Kobe has told me about MJ. I remember stories numerous stars in this league over the years have told me about MJ. Not one single player has ever implied that MJ has a closed door policy. Now, MJ is not going to reach out to you, yep. but his door is open if you want to reach out to him because he loves the games and he wants these guys to do better. MJ's of the mindset, I did what I did in right. my time. Now it's your time, okay. and that's that. I do want to emphasize the point that you made early on. Sure. Michael Jordan does own an NBA team, so there's some limit, even though you told me that with Carmelo, he was giving him some inside tips. About, about, yeah. the, about uh, the play, okay. yeah, exactly. But, but there's got to be some limit to how far he wants to go with teams that, that he hopes one day to challenge, right? I mean, we, I know his team's not very good right now, but at some point, you don't want to give away all the state secrets to, yeah. right? And you may not give away all the state secrets, but if you are a Hall of Famer and you're widely, if not universally, yeah. recognized as the greatest, you know it's a crime for you not to share, share. some elements of what made you who you are yeah. to a younger generation. As they say in church, you can most churches have pastors in it, Skip, that would say mm -hmm. there's no success without a successor. Right. Okay. If, you, if, you're not, if you're not lending your level of expertise and extending it to those who may not know that come after you, then what success have you truly enjoyed if you yeah. haven't bestowed your knowledge okay. upon somebody else? I find MJ to be that kind of person. All right. And I don't believe for one second he has a closed door policy and I've been told emphatically by numerous people over the last 24 hours that that is absolutely false he does not have a okay. closed door policy this, this is my if 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 I might I'm going to psychoanalyze from a distance here sure my read is what I told you yesterday as we opened up our discussion that that quote from LeBron came across like a father son quote where where it was like the son saying I wish my father would give me more I wish he would recognize me I wish he'd tell me that he respects my game and that that I'm great. And maybe, even though they've had these kind of social conversations at a birthday party, yeah. maybe he feels like Michael has never really opened up to him, never sort of... Approved him. Yeah, yeah approved. That's the, That's the right word. word. He's never given him his stamp of approval. You are all-time great, young man, and, and I, I really respect what you've accomplished. Maybe he's reaching out for that because sure. he readily admits he grew up, this was his idol now, this was, he patterned his life after Michael Jordan, and maybe he wants a little more on an emotional level from Michael that Michael isn't willing to give him.